Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. I'm gonna do a snack review. I guess you'd call these a snack. These are hot wasabi flavored peas. Wasabi flavored green peas from Happy Snacks Company. Zero grams trans fat per serving. These were sent to me by Drew Durdick. Um, wanted me to try these. Um, I have had wasabi peas before, not like this. Um, I think I have. I don't know. I just don't remember the occasion I had them, but they just sound so familiar. I can't. I can't remember. I can't remember the um, the occasion or the experience. So this is kind of be kind of be something different for me. Something kind of new. Um, I don't know what to expect. <clears throat> Says they're a product of China. Um, ingredients includes, of course, the green peas, gluttonous rice flour, or glutinous, glutinous rice flour, wheat flour, sugar, palm oil, hydro, hydro, hydrolyzed soy protein, salt, dextrin, horseradish powder, and that's really about it. So, this will be interesting. All right, well, let's, uh, let's, let's check these things out. They have kind of a, um, it's a dull aroma, but it does smell like, <clears throat> has a little, you know, like peas aroma a little bit there. There's something else though too, I just can't, I can't put my finger on it. All right, let's uh, let's pour some out here. Let you all see them. <clears throat> They're all different sizes. It looks like you know they were peas that were rolled in a coating, I guess. <clears throat> They don't really look like they have any kind of powder on them. They're just a dull, flat color. Uh, well, I think there is a light, a very light powder on them because I just licked my fingers and there was something there. It's very light. All right, let's uh, let's try this out hot. So, <clears throat> so let's see how hot they are. Horseradish. <clears throat> hmm. Lightly salty. There's a little bit of this light sweetness in the coating. There was a little spark of heat just for a second, right when I discovered that horseradish taste, but it went away. They're crunchy. Getting a little bit, you know, a peas taste. It's good. I'm not a horseradish fan. I don't like horseradish. Um, the horseradish taste was there for a second and it went away. All right, let me try this next one. <clears throat> as soon as you bite into it, you get horseradish. Boom, just like that. Now you chew it. 
it dissipates out. And then you get a light sweetness, a light saltiness, and you get the peas. Hmm. That's interesting. Very interesting. So what makes up the wasabi taste? Is that the horseradish? That one had more heat. So they're not consistently... <clears throat> they're not consistently covered with the, the, the heat part. Um, that horseradish hung around a little bit longer. More saltiness on that one. So they're not consistently, the ingredients is not consistently on each pea. Each pea is kind of unique with the flavors it has, or the amount of flavors it has. Same flavors, just more on each pea differently. Like that one is pretty salty. They're interesting. Horseradish taste is just terrible. Who who likes horseradish on purpose? I don't, I don't know. It just it just I just never have liked it. But it's not huge in here. But after you get through the horseradish, so you have a good taste. Um, they're an interesting little snack. Um, the um, the texture of them are they're easy to chew. Um, they crunch easy. Um, They kind of remind me of corn nuts a little bit, which Drew sent me some corn nuts to try too. Um, corn nuts are a little harder, harder to chew. Um, these are not not like that. These are very easily chewed. That one is really soft. Have a little bit of an oily content. <clears throat> hmm, interesting. Wasabi flavored. See, that's what makes me think that wasabi flavor is is horseradish because that's kind of what I'm getting more of at the at the beginning. And then you get the green peas are not huge on the taste anyway when you cook them. Um, I usually put a little bit of salt on my green peas. Um, I like green peas. Um, so, um, so there you go. Those are interesting. Rice flour. That's got to be the coating. Wheat flour. The sugar, a lot of, I mean, mo most of it does make up the coating. Horseradish powder is in there. So, so there you go. Salt.
hydrolyzed soy protein. Um, I don't know if that's the same thing as like soy sauce or not. I, that's in there very lightly, unless that's part of the saltiness makeup. I don't know, but there, that's very, it's very good, very interesting. So there you go. All right. Well, um, I like experiencing new things. This was a new thing for me. So, uh, so thank you, Drew. Appreciate that. Um, let me know if any of you guys have tried these things or something like these and can relate with what I'm getting. All right. Well, I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. We will see you on the next one. All right. Bye.